earlier you mentioned that you withdrew the proposal to raise the salary range, item number two in the agenda for the assessor. It so happens that the CFO, for those of you who didn't know, who was just replaced, was the same person as the assessor. And based on what I just read in your records, not anybody's opinion, but your records, your official audits, the direction you seem to be taking by raising the salary cap on the assessor appeared to me and some other people to be the, only the first step in giving the assessor a raise. Now I ask you to use common sense, as they say in the courts, when you come into the room, you don't need common sense at the door. I ask you, when you see such gross mismanagement in the financial affairs of the city by the chief financial officer, who also happened to be the assessor, who also deals with numbers and calculations and computations and record keeping, how can you have confidence in that person to the extent of even contemplating, as you did up to tonight, raising the ceiling which opens the door to the potential for giving the assessor a raise. I don't know if anybody has audited the work of the assessor as an assessor, not as a CFO, he's no longer that, as an assessor. Has anybody, an independent party, come in and assessed his work, the work of the assessor, and recommended to you or reported to you how that job was being performed? Because it seems to me, based on my experience with the assessor's office and the experience of others, that what occurs in the assessor's office and the assessor's mind is something like what occurs in a black box in which nobody has the key. As I mentioned to you at the last public meeting, and I told you at that time, that I have the tape recordings of his testimony, which nobody here asked me to bring and let you listen to, in which in my opinion, and in his own words, the assessor simply took information from Cole Air Trumbull, CFT, and regurgitated it at the appeals before the county board and before the court. He admitted that in question after question after question. I let him down the path, and his answers were yes to a series of questions that he got all this from CLT, and he repeated it and could not explain the formulas a regressive analysis that he was telling the court about. He said CLT came up with it with a room full of experts. So I'm dealing with something rather fundamental, and that is the qualifications of a person charged with our city's finances in two different areas, assessments and finances. Since he remains an assessor, it is still important to find out how he has performed his job, and that has to be evaluated by an independent, outside party, even if it has to be someone from the state regulatory or other agency. I don't know how it works, I didn't study the law on this. You need to review it before you entrust to this same individual the continuing duty of assessing our real estate and dealing with the public. It would be foolish to assume that he didn't do a good job, he did a terrible job as CFO, but he's doing a sterling job as an assessor. It doesn't follow logically. I would say suspend belief and find out before you do anything else with this person's position. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't catch much of what you said other than you were postponing or the question was rendered moot regarding the assessor's uh, salary cap. I think the public is owed a clearer explanation at any time about what you said and what it really means and what it is that went on in private discussions that could result in something that would impact our interests as taxpayers, our interests as the employers who eventually paid a bill for everybody working for the city, including the assessor. 